Is the Airbus A321 XLR really unsafe? Or are Boeing's accusations financially motivated? Like, subscribe and share. History has shown us that safety has always been a thing in aviation. If we look at when did safety really became an issue, it was just a few times. Back in 1931 with the Fokker F-10A, then in 1946 with the Lockheed L-049 constellation, and then in the more recent history, 1979 with the McDonnell Douglas DC-10, and in 2013 as well as now, and actually for the past few years, the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. And of course, we have our big favorite, the one which has had the longest grounding ever, the Boeing 737 MAX. Interestingly, the McDonnell Douglas, the 787 and the MAX are actually what is Boeing today. McDonnell Douglas merged with Boeing, the company's mentality was taken over from McDonnell Douglas by moving from an engineering company focused on engineering, on designing good aircraft, to a money-making machine. A company that's just focusing on how well are the stocks doing, are the shareholders getting a high return on investment, and how high are our bonuses. Where can we cut costs? Where can we cut corners? And how can we cover everything up? And basically, this could be considered the answer to the question. Airbus never has had a real grounding of a certain type. Certain aircraft of Airbus have been grounded because of engine issues. There have been some safety issues, of course, that had to be fixed, but never a major grounding. Also, Airbus has been the one who has been innovating the most until now. The 787 was a step forward from Boeing, but what it actually did was integrating things Airbus was already working on. Airbus is the one who came to the market with a two-engine long-range aircraft as first. Airbus was the one who came to the market with fly-by-wire as first. Airbus was the one who came to the market with composites as first. Airbus is also the one looking at new types of aircraft now, new technology and even single pilot aircraft. Boeing has been more conservative, which is totally fine, but then in the end, always followed suit. With some delay, but they did follow suit. And for Boeing to start shouting now that very specific aircraft is going to be unsafe, it's really interesting. Because if you look at when Boeing is doing this, at the moment that Boeing just got a six million dollar fine for not resolving safety issues, which it agreed to a few years back, when the number of directives, of emergency directives, focused on Boeing aircraft has never been as high, when groundings have been accumulating for Boeing, when literally only the 747 is an aircraft that is not having issues at this moment, because the 737 MAX still has issues, as well as now also the NG, the 787 has issues, the 777X has issues, the 767 Tanker has issues, 
the V-22 has issues, the Space Division has issues, and they're all related to safety. Decompression is safety. The doors being able to decompress on the 737NG and MAX because of certain parts failing or cracking is a safety issue. And yet Boeing is now attacking Airbus on that very specific aircraft that is taking that part in the market where Boeing has zero answer. The sweet spot at the lower end of the NMA, the middle of the market. The replacement of the Boeing 757 with an aircraft that is more efficient, has a greater range and Boeing has nothing to answer to that. Boeing has failed to launch an NMA, is still unable to launch it, and in a desperate move to win some time, they're trying to slow down Airbus. To me, this is simply a sign of weakness, a sign of desperation, and it just shows how great the Airbus is and how far behind Boeing has come due to its own mismanagement that already, a subject that already tackled in a previous video. And yeah, what can I say? Boeing has messed up, is still messing up, big time, is not changing course, is trying to still continue with shortcuts and cover-ups to actually come back on top, instead of doing what they used to be really great at, which is producing fantastic aircraft. Aircraft that actually stay in the air, aircraft that actually can fly, aircraft that are safe, aircraft that are functional, and aircraft that are revolutionary. We will of course see if EASA agrees with Boeing's concern, but as far as I can see now, my personal opinion is Airbus has come with new technologies, Airbus has been thinking things through, and until now they've done a great job. So for them to come with an integrated fuel tank, integrated in the fuselage, they must have thought things through. I cannot imagine that they would just do something and haven't thought about what if this, what if that. What if the main gear fails and they may have to have a belly landing? Time will tell. But for now, I wish you a wonderful day and see you in the next video. If you dislike the video, you do this. If you liked it, thumbs up, share and subscribe. Also, check out my Patreon page. There you can support me and get access to exclusive content. Get more. Check it out in the link below.